Hello everyone, this is another video about Rundeck. Uh, this time I will be talking about Rundeck access control, which is an uh, important part uh, when you're trying to achieve self-service for your automation. Uh, I will start with some theory and then I will gradually build uh, policy for our example group of users on the existing deployment. I will start first with uh, explaining what are the changes for the Rundeck Helm chart that I prepared. Uh, I've added uh, actually two things there. So first of all, we can pass the content of uh, Realm properties as a file here. So we can define additional groups of users uh, if it's needed. Then also, as you might notice in the, my previous video, uh, there is a config map for, for access control policies. And those were hard coded in the previous version. Uh, now they can be swapped in runtime. If you take a look at how Rundeck policies are looking, uh, they can be split into three parts. So first of all, we have a context, then action and subject. So there are two types of context. Uh, we can define policies for the whole application, like in this case. And another example will be a policy for a particular project. As for the subject, uh, we just define for which group of users or for which user this policy was created. And then there is a section uh, defining all the actions that are allowed. Uh, and also this action part is divided into two things. As you can see, there is a resource part. Those are called generic targets because um, they are describing what you can do with, for example, jobs and projects in general as a, as a resource. And then there is a specific part of policy uh, where you can define for particular project or for particular job or other resource what you can do with it. And usually you just put the uh, different verbs that you allow uh, this particular user. So for example, in this case, uh, we allow everything for all the resources in the first part. And then for the project named some project, we allow to read and configure it. And as I said, there is the uh, second example. This time we are defining it for the, all the projects. You can also place a name of the project in the context part. And the rest is pretty the same. So again, we have the resources uh, and we can specify what we allow for particular generic type. Like in this example, we are uh, defining something for job. And then for the specific type of resource, we allow read and update for jobs and everything for nodes. All right, I will start run the now uh, with the values file that is published on my GitHub. And then we can uh, build gradually the policy that will allow the non-admin uh, group to view the jobs. After a while, we should be able to log in as non-admin user. Uh, this is the user that was created uh, during uh, Rundeck deployment and it represents the users that those are like end users that would probably like to access uh, the jobs in Rundeck but they shouldn't necessarily be allowed to edit those jobs or in general access some administrative tasks in Rundeck. So let's log in. Uh, this particular user or this particular group has now no access policies and as expected uh, it shouldn't be able to do anything so let's change it so first let's switch to the command line uh, we can get the config maps from our cluster now uh, as you can see there is the Randek acl config map which we will be editing so let's kubectl edit config map Randek acl and as you can see, the first uh, policy is connected with API tokens. So those are those po this policy is used for uh, Randeck uh, configuration at startup. But we will be editing the other one called non-admin ACL policy. So let's just paste the content uh, into this config. And it's pretty simple for now. What we'd like to uh, achieve is to just see all the projects in Randeck that are existing. That's why we are using context application. And we want to see the project main. And we are allowing 
reading and deleting execution in this project. And we will grant this uh, policy to non-admin group. So let's just save it. And after a second, we can check that in Randek we should actually see the project. All the changes, uh, as I already uh, mentioned, are uh, done in runtime. So, so usually it takes uh, up to a minute for Randek to grab the new configuration. So in this video, I'll be just skipping this time to, to save your time. And I will be just showing uh, what is the result uh, after a while. Okay, so let's check in Randek how it really looks like. And let's refresh the page. And as you can see, we, we are seeing now the main project that we allowed non-admin user to view. And if we go there, we cannot do much because uh, we, just, we just granted access on application level, but not on the project level. So we don't see any jobs. We cannot actually do almost anything. Uh, so we need to do another change in our policy. So let's switch to the command line again. Let's ed edit it once again. And this time we'll be adding policy to view all the jobs in particular project. So again, we need to go to the bottom of the file and as a next policy, we can just put it here. Uh, we need to divide the policies between them. So there, so Randek now that this is another policy. And uh, this time we are creating policy for project main. So we are in the project scope. Uh, then we are saying that for resources of kind event, uh, those events can be read for the non-admin user. And we are allowing to run, read and kill all the jobs. And we can run the, the jobs on all the nodes, which should allow the non-admin user to execute all the jobs in main project. So let's save it now. And check how it is reflected on Randek. I will refresh the web UI of Randek now. And as expected, we have now jobs from main project visible for us. We can even run the job needed. Let's trigger it. And it's already finished. You can see pods from our namespace here. We can also see the history of execution. So everything that we allowed is, is ex as expected visible for non-admin user now. Uh, one more thing that we would, could do is to allow non-admin user to actually create new projects and do everything they need uh, inside the project, but still not be able to edit the main project. So let's do the final change in the policy. We will once again uh, edit the policy in config map, uh, but first we need to uh, edit one of the existing policy. So let's just delete it first and just apply the uh, newer version. And it should be like this. So the change we've made is that apart from giving access to the main project, we also allowing a non-admin user to create new projects. And for all the projects that starts with custom, a user should be able to do anything there on application level. But this is still not, not everything we need. We also would like to add some policies on project level itself. So we need another policy here. Uh, and uh, as you can see, this is uh, created for all the projects that start with custom name and the user is allowed to do everything with all those projects. Uh, and this is because those projects will be created by the user himself. So let's now save the config map 
and in Randek we can go to the home page and try to create new project. So let's call it custom custom test. No other configuration for now. We'll just quickly create first job just to see that everything is working as expected. Create new job. We can call it test. And in workflow, it will be just a very simple script to view the date on my run deck. I will save it here and create the job. And we will just run it to see how it is working. As you can see, the job is already finished. Uh, we could even try to delete this job because this is our project, so it shouldn't be a problem. So we delete the job. And it's fine. If we try to do a similar thing on main project, we should be not allowed to do that. So let's try to, for example, delete this job. And as you can see, it's not possible here. Uh, that's why, because we, uh, with our policy, we configure that the main project is like administrative project and we can only run jobs there. One last thing I wanted to show you is uh, that Randec has a Randec ACL a command line interface. Uh, it can be used for creating policies, but also for testing policies, and this is uh, how I'll be using it now. So first, let's get pod name. So kubectl get pod. I will use the uh, the command line from within the pod, just for the simplicity. So I will exec into the pod. And then there is the run the KCL uh, command line. So we'll be testing policies. And uh, what we want to test is first on context on application level. We want to test if group non-admin for the generic type project is allowed to create project. And as you can see, they are allowed to create project in general. If we try to do similar thing, but on project level, uh, so the context will be project. And we are talking about project main. And we want to test if group non-admin uh, can create jobs. So the generic type is job. And we want to test if we can create jobs. And as, as expected, it's not allowed. We are not able to create jobs inside main project, uh, but we can do it on custom project. So if we change the name to custom, custom test, so the project we, we just created, we should be able to create jobs there. And as you can see, it's as expected. All the materials for this video can be found on my GitHub and as always uh, the link will be placed below the video.